told yesterday that we uh, don't give good presentations, and I hope I do give, uh, be a little bit innovative. And uh, while my topic is uh, this uh, speaking of ESP in Indian conditions, that means English for science and technology, I hope I'll be able to use good technical terms in my presentation. First, I would like to ask you one question. One student is in need. Will you help? Will you help? Yes. Okay. Then let me read room three. Hi, I have a huge problem. He says, I need to study an education textbook written in English. I usually have no problem with technical terms as long as I can find their pronunciation in a dictionary. But when it comes to formula, oh, ah. Now here is the problem. How can ESL, that means English and Second Language Learning Students, really engineering mathematics or physics textbooks if they are uh, if they are learning English by themselves, studying in their own country? So we have the same problem, right? I have been uh, learning English by myself, no teachers and no uh, no courses at all. Unfortunately, I can't afford to study abroad. Well, most of us have this problem, and now I'm really stuck. I will give you some examples. How should a uh, student read this, uh, this formula? 2BS plus A, 4B. Uh, now, most of us will fail to read this formula, right? Uh, okay, this is simple reading. 2BS uh, plus A multiplied by 4B, for example. But now, 25A, uh, I don't know how to read it. I'll read whatever he says. Um, 25 amperes square meters or walls to the fourth or maybe 25 square centimeters meters or walls to the fourth. He doesn't know what it is. And most of us or most of our engineering students have faced or do face the same problem. Right. Now I'm going ahead. Uh, what the argument is that I have just taken a such abstract and I would like to discuss it only. Uh, I hope I will not, you know, insult any institute or university. In, during this, uh, uh, in the course of my presentation. The first is teaching ESP in India uh, faces certain drawbacks. What are they draw? What are those drawbacks? First, uh, the students who are learning technical English, they have their specific needs. Those needs are, uh, you can say they need to learn technical vocabulary, they need to read and comprehend as well as write technical English. Right? Uh, if they don't speak technical English, that's fine. That's on a low priority. That's what the essay say, R S Right. Uh, the second thing they need to learn is they need to learn in impersonal style. They need to learn to write uh, for passive in passive construction. They need to learn condition uh, condition clauses. All these things that they need to learn. Right. They need to be concise. They need to be uh, you know, precise. All these things. But what's that in our syllabus that we can make them do uh, do such things? Uh, for that, courses and methods of technical or and technical material as well as all these things need to be, uh, you know, according to the scientific sub register. The sub register, how many of you know what, uh, is, uh, what is the meaning of sub register? It's not in our class. Scientific sub register. That means language and uh, register. That's what the essay says. And uh, scientific sub register. It's a variety. Right? It's a variety. So the student who is uh, learning uh, technical English, we need to uh, design the courses, methods, and technical materials according to technical, uh, you know, uh, scientific subjects. Now what happens? Then let's look at our syllabus. I hope I won't take much of your time. Uh, this is what other university syllabus is. Is it visible? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is designed for um, BSc students. Uh, the title is given compulsory English. And what do they study? Yeah, for BSc semester one student, they study. Selected three short stories. First, A Cup of Tea by Catherine Manson. Second, The Postmaster by Rabindranath Tagore. And third, How to Land the Man Need by Your Author. That is, they study Catherine English. Second, in grammar, they study articles, tense, pronouns, nouns, and adjectives. The, you know, the students, the elementary students that they study. This thing. Going ahead. 
they should be taught uh, their text as well as the text uh, or uh, when they talk, when they are taught a compulsory English or those sorts of uh, English, right? Then they are to, to be uh, made familiar with the, the, the technical terms and that can be made familiar with this sort of text only. Thank you.